So I've come to the conclusion that there isn't a round flat bar this side of town. If I want to go skate around flat bar, I've got to drive all the way over to McVicker on the other side of the lake, which is like 10, 15 minutes away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to Home Depot and pick out some like PVC and some wooden stuff and some screws and try to like Frankenstein a little flat bar rail thing together. Dan and Corey actually did a video like this over on the Keen Rams channel, but what they did was they found all the material for free like on Offer Up or in like back alleys and stuff and they threw it together. Their one turned out super sick. Hopefully mine can turn out half decent because I just want a little flat bar. I can just pop in the back of the car, take it to like a car park and like skate and learn tricks because like I said, there's no flat bars this side of town. I'm trying to learn those rail tricks, guys. I wasn't going to make a video today, but it's super sunny outside and not windy. I don't want to sit inside all day making more YouTube videos lately. So I'm trying to be more time efficient to get these videos done so you guys can watch them. So yeah, <sighs> Jesus, it took me about three goes to get this intro done. Kept slipping up, kept mispronouncing words. There you go, just mispronounced another one. I'm gonna head down to Home Depot right now, guys. Let's go. Gotta really make sure that I measure out how much space I can take up in the car for the rail. Like I'll have to fold the back seats down and like measure out. So luckily I bought this tape measure. So it's probably safe to say I got about seven feet of space in here to play with roughly. That should do. I mean, you can always slide it down the middle like this, but I think that should be a good medium to work off. All right, I believe this is what we need. A couple of planks of this uh, two by six here. It's an eight foot length, so I'm gonna have to get old mate to cut it down, or maybe I can just cut it at home, depending how long the uh, PVC pipe is. Found where I need to be, some PVC pipe here, some black, some white. I don't know if I should go three inch or two inch. Three inch is the big boy, but two inch is like the standard. I might try to like do a little mock up to see how it'll look with the three inch first. This is a three inch right here, kind of chubby. And then I got the two inch right here too. I don't know. This sits more flush, but this has more of a like beefier type of thing. I'm not too sure what I should go for. Cause this might double as like a little snowboard muck around rail as well. I think I'm gonna go with a three inch. Just looks a lot tougher. Looks cooler. There's a machine thing out here to cut to cut up some PVC because it comes in 10 foot lengths. So I only need seven feet, but uh, I don't think general public is supposed to use this. So I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe wait for a Home Depot worker or something. Figured I'd try to get the wood cut down to size first. So I headed over to the wood cutter thing, but um, there's no one here either. So I think they're understaffed here. If anybody's looking for a job, head down to uh, Lake Elsinore Home Depot, chuck in an application. All right, so we've got one cut down, getting the other one cut. We're good. I don't think anybody's coming, but there is a hacksaw over here. I might just give it a quick cut myself just here. I don't know. All right, I think we're ready to rock and roll, guys. Here's the real question, guys. Will this all fit? I think it'll fit. I mean, if my measurements are correct, we'll get it all tucked in nicely and get it home and get it cut and shut. It's already cut, but we'll get it all shut down get it all locked up together thought that was really weird that he allowed me to cut it in the store like you think if i slipped cut my finger damn there's a lawsuit against home depot everybody's be suing each other in this country back home now guys got all the materials situated just trying to figure out how to throw this thing together the most economical way possible it probably isn't going to be the most glamorous looking flat bar but it's going to work it's going to be function over fashion if that applies in this circumstance but yeah Super keen to get this thing together. I just hope it holds up. It should do. I mean, if I pump enough screws into it, it'll hold. And I'm keen to get some tricks on this thing. I know I know. there's going to be comments saying, oh my God, you could have made it like this. Or you could have done it like this. Like, I know there's a bunch of different ways that are probably better to build this thing. I just don't have the knowledge or patience to do it. I'm just going to do it my way and then hope it works. I'm sure it will work. I'm just really keen to skate this thing. I'm not trying to be like, the, you know, Tim the tool man of DIY. I'm just trying to get this thing skatable so I can have some fun on it. Honestly guys, this is probably the most run and gun DIY project I've ever kind of created or made or whatever. I've got a couple of rhino ramps accompanied by cinder block, some random bits of wood just to uh, hold it in place. Got another piece of wood underneath here just holding everything, keeping that space in between. I'm just gonna screw the PVC into the wood, see how we go. Fingers crossed this works. <laughs>
So I just took a quick test run on this rail and it fell over. Realized I didn't bevel the bottom of the legs here to make them flat, so they sit flush on the ground. So I'm gonna have to try to do that right now. Uh, very sketchily, because I've never done this before. So in an attempt to keep the circular saw straight so I can bevel this piece of wood here, I've got another bit of two by four here, I think, with these rhino rams and that cinder block keeping it tucked in against. Oh my God, this is the epitome of sketchy uh, DIYing. For what it's worth, that actually isn't too bad. I mean, this is the original, how it was originally, and I've just kind of put a bevel on it with the circular saw. I've never done it before in my life. It hasn't come out too bad. I hope I haven't spoken too soon because I've got to do the other side, but so far so good. Oh, it's a bit bowed there, but whatever. Don't get me wrong, I'm way out of my uh, skill set here, but I don't think it came out too bad. It came out pretty decent. I mean, the angles are like a tad off, as you can see right there, but it's not too bad, you know, keeping it DIY, keeping it sketchy. All right, guys, so the challenge right now is to find a bit of smooth concrete we can chuck down this flat bar on and give it a whirl. We're gonna try the local high school here. Hopefully no one's in due to COVID, Friday afternoon right now. So yeah, hopefully gonna get a little session in on this flat bar. I've got some cool ideas in mind. I might even eventually draw on the side of it to make it a bit more funkier. What do you guys think? <laughs> See if you can get this thing out without hurting yourself. Weighs, it weighs like a little bit, but not as much as you would think it weighs. <laughs> what? I don't know, I just was like, oh, I hope it's <laughs> better to hold it with the pipe down. I hold that way. Me. Thanks. Who's my car? It's my car. <laughs> Look where she put it, right in the middle of the curb. I don't know why you put it there. I don't know where to put it. I didn't want to put it's it up there. Yet. Like the rail. Thanks, man. I just built it. Looks really awkward with you carrying it. Thanks. Where to? So put it over here, in the middle right here, anywhere in this area. Thanks. Yep. It's okay. Uh-huh, careful. Wow, look at that. Do a trick. Wearing some, there's some little black Sabbath type boots there. Looks like you're gonna ride a motorcycle. I do. Wow, look at that. Do a kickflip. That's not a kickflip. Always pack a broom in the car. I don't know why I didn't pack my broom today. Ugh. Now I'm just kicking these rocks away. The potential hazard here. Don't really want to get a wheel bite. Wheel bite. I don't want to get chalked before I hit this massive rail right here. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try a board slide. pretty good it is a bit low to the ground but it's not like super low but it's like low maybe like the height of a curb I don't know oh! <laughs> what? your sound effects Bit of a thicker tube so I don't know if that makes it harder or easier to lock in I'd say harder <laughs> see what I mean that was scary it looks really slippery let me go again ah. you know what it is 
have this problem where I have this problem where I don't bend my knees enough. So when I hop on something, my my legs are like straight, and it gives you no leverage. So it's always good to bend your knees before you pop in, and then like try to keep your knees bent. I'll try to get a better one. For the record, this thing's seven foot long, so it's kind of in between short and medium length. So once you kind of get in, unless you get in right at the end, at the very start, you don't have much time until you've got to set up to get off. Try to get a cleaner picky here. Yeah. And again. Oh. I guess those ones are okay. I think when I think of 450 50 on a round rail, I think cross lock, but then sometimes I end up in heel lock, which is alright. But I think I feel more comfortable with cross lock because I'm used to front smithing. And that's kind of the same angle you gotta have your board. the line my uh, chalk just let no kidding that's just like a scratch I need a water break comment down below if you know what water you drink comment down below if you can see what kind of water this is <laughs> that's what I'm going to show you <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm not doing that again What did you say? Say it again. <laughs> mm, I'm Just say it. Uh, Basically, she said once I hit 20k, she's gonna take me out to dinner wherever I want to go. <laughs> so where are we going? Wherever you want to go. I want to go Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, guys, I think I'm having more fun on this rail than uh, I expected to. It's like really playful, not that high off the ground, so you don't have to pop that high. Having longer legs, I kind of over pop sometimes or under pop sometimes, so. It's kind of weird to get used to popping onto something that isn't that high, but kind of figuring it out. But overall, having a super fun time with this rail. I think all the material cost me like 35 bucks. Could have got most of it for free if I wanted to go like really searching. But like I said, this is a spontaneous video idea. I just wanted to get a video done. I've been skating with Dan a lot and he's been pushing me to like do lines because usually I just do singles. But I think like doing lines is fun and it makes you look really good at skating. Cause I don't think I'm that good at skating, but when you put like a couple of tricks in a line, it looks sick. I'm really thinking about drawing some stuff on like the sides of the, the rail here. I just don't know what yet. So I do want to just go ham on it with a Sharpie, 
but I don't know what to draw. Maybe I'll think of something. Some Keith Herring style stuff would be dope, but uh, maybe I can kind of learn how to draw in that style. That'd be cool. What do you think, Karina? What's Keith Herring? You don't know Keith Herring? Country sir? <laughs> Keith Herring is that really famous New York artist that did those illustrations of like the moving people and it was pretty much just lines and squiggles and stuff. Oh. Do you know who Keith Herring is? Like oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like an older one. He's from like the eighties and nineties. I think he died in the nineties. Yeah, I have seen him before. Yeah. Nice. Keith Herring, the country singer. That's a good one. Done. That's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in. So the key is, once you get it to the carpet, put it upside down on the PVC, slide right in, mate. Yep. Look how easy insulation can be with your brand new $35 flat bar. Come on, I want it to be like an infomercial. Look how easy it is for this rail to slide in the back of your car. <laughs> done <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you enjoyed had a bit of a fun time building this rail one quick note if you guys are going to work with power tools make sure that you're using the correct protective equipment or you have an adult nearby that can do it for you don't try to just gung-ho it like i did that was really stupid but yeah hope you guys have been enjoying the more frequent content until next time guys i'll see you all in the next video cheers for watching